Hello and welcome to Rain Automotive. We're going to be filling out our customer layout form and battery calculator today. This is what we use as the basis of our electrical camper conversion kits. It's going to help us determine exactly what you're going to need in order to go from where you are now to sort of your idea of the finished conversion. When you open it up, you're going to see this screen. It looks pretty much like this. This is the V4 edit. Um, but similar ones will probably follow on in a very similar vein. Um, first thing to do, customer name, just going to fill it in with your name here. And then we're going to go for the vehicle make and model, which for this example is a T6. And then we're going to put the age of the vehicle in, in two digit format. So it's an 18 plate in this case. So the next box you're going to fill out is whether it's got a smart alternator fitted or not. You can find this lower down if you're not sure you can click on this link here and that's going to take you through to a test on how to fill it out. The vehicle we've got here, we know it does, so we click the drop down and go for yes. After that, we move into the your vehicle section. As we're going to be filling out completely today, we're going to highlight the whole thing, press the delete key on the keyboard. If you were working with a layout that's similar to the original, you can just tweak it and change it. In this case, we're going to start from fresh. Code is the box we're looking for here where it says code in column U. We're going to pick all the items in that and I'm just going to go down them one by one, filling them in on the layout, and then that's going to give us a bit of an indication as to what we're going to need. So we're going to put the leisure battery under the driver's seat, main battery there. As you go down next to the code, you're going to see what each thing is for here. You will also notice there's a little drop down on some of them so we can pick what kind of battery, for example, we want, or what kind of switch panel, uh, what finish we would like on there. So I'm just going to go for the AGM battery and the silver switch panel in this van. And then we're going to pop in, just go down methodically one by one, pop them all into the space. It's only going to let you fill in things that are in this spot, or later on we'll look, there's an other section for any other bits and bobs that don't quite fall into this layout, but hopefully it covers most of what people are going to need. When you add something new, you've got the opportunity to come over here to the supply component or wire only drop down menus. And we're just going to pick whether you'd like us to supply the component or whether you'd like us just to wire it through. If you only want the wiring, it's going to come with a label on it and just blank cable ends ready for you to join on to whatever components it may be that you're adding. As we go down each one, again, some of the items with a black square around them have the opportunity for you to select a spec within them. We're going to go down. All these things here are relating to the core wiring kit, which is an item that would appear in your quotation. And as we go down, you'll see a couple of other items. They're all colour coded, so you can see what they might be. Um, the next one is this mains wiring kit here. So we scroll down to that. We'll go, we want to put a main system in this van. So we're going to put in that we have the consumer unit and the battery charger there and uh, a double socket outlet there. The mains inlet will go up here under the bonnet in this one. That's quite a popular option in the transporters these days. We're not going to be putting any of the other bits and bobs, inverter or solar panel on this one, no others. Here you come to asking about gas pipes. This does have a fixed gas installation in the van and it's also got mains. So we're going to need a gas bonding kit. We just tick yes on that. That's going to pop us there. Then we scroll down a little bit further and this is pretty much what you're going to need um, because we've got a smart alternator, we've got the CTEC upgrade, we've got between 6 and 10 fuses, and we've got some roof lights, reading lights, gas bonding kit, etc. At this point, save the, save the form by hitting the little disc option up on the top left here, and then you can pop it in an email to us and we will get you a quotation over as soon as we can and get the ball rolling from there. Thank you for watching.